Amazon's $11 billion AI data center in Indiana, one of the largest in the world, is now live. And our Mackenzie Sagalos got an exclusive inside look. She joins us right now with more. Hey, Mackenzie. Hey, good morning, Becky. So in less than a year, Amazon turned Indiana cornfields into its biggest AI data center yet. It's also a major swing on its homegrown chips and speed to market infrastructure. Now, this compound was built exclusively for OpenAI rival Anthropic, which is now running its cloud models on half a million of Amazon's in-house AI chips called Tranium 2. On 1,200 acres in the town of New Carlisle, seven massive buildings are already online, and we were the first cameras inside. Now, once complete, the site will include 30 buildings, drawing more than two gigawatts of electricity, enough to power more than 1.6 million homes. And Amazon told me it's the largest cluster of non-NVIDIA chips anywhere in the world. This is not some future project that we've talked about that maybe comes alive. This is running and training their models today. We're rapidly adding new capacity all over the place. And so I don't know that we'll be done ever. We're going to continue to build as our customers need more capacity. Now, this type of clear ROI is exactly the kind of execution that Wall Street wants to see going into hyperscaler earnings, which kick off after the bell today. Amazon is deploying CapEx faster than anyone else and already turning it into real workloads. And while other tech giants are still announcing data center plans, Amazon is Indiana, a campus, is a, is a case study in speed powered by decades of experience building warehouses and infrastructure across the country. These deals all sound great on paper, but they only materialize when they're actually racked and loaded and usable by the customer, and Amazon is incredible at that. And guys, Anthropic helped inform the chip design, while Amazon is now betting its AI future on their models. Hey, McKenzie, I, I think the question becomes, um, is it, does it get harder to build the data centers from here? Because everywhere they go, you do see locals who say, we don't want it here. We're worried about prices going up. My mom was just back in Indiana a couple of weeks ago, and there were signs all over the place saying, saying no to more of these things. So the early deals, you saw maybe a little more embrace of what was going on. But does it get tougher from here with the not in my backyard kind of popping its head up? Well, when I was in New Carlisle, I went to one of the town council meetings that they have every Tuesday night. And at this point, it feels like this inevitable reality that they just have to make it work. And so I, I spoke to the head of that council, and they said that for two years they fought this process, which began a couple of years ago, just a few months after ChatGPT launched. But it became clear that there wasn't much that they could do to push back. We also spoke to the local power utility. They expect peak demand to double once this full campus on, is online. So that is a standing question, both in the context of this build, but there are also multiple big tech players that are choosing in Indiana specifically uh, because of a mix of local incentives, but also uh, a mix of grid power, including nuclear and gas.